What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I want to go over my top 5 apps that supports 3D touch. So this is the iPhone 6S right here and it has a new technology in the screen that Apple is calling 3D touch. So what this does is basically all the apps from Apple, most of them, support 3D touch. Basically, It should be a quicker way to get to certain things from your app like if you want to take a picture you could long, just hard press on the picture icon, on the camera icon and you get certain options. So you could take a photo just like that. I mean, so that's what 3D Touch is. Most of the apps from Apple supports 3D Touch, and this is not a long press. You could slightly press on it. You get you go to your wiggle mode just like that. But if you want to do a 3D Touch, you gotta press hard on it like that, and it'll pop up, and you feel a pop. I mean, so that's what 3D Touch is. But most apps from the App Store isn't supporting 3D Touch yet. So now I want to go over my top five that actually does. And my first one is Instagram. So this Instagram right here, and I could long press on it, and I get that. So I could do a direct me to my messages. I could do a new post, and you just give me the option to select a picture and send it in, or view activity. So basically, I'll go here, and I could go through everybody. And the thing with 3D touches, like if I want to view a picture, I could just Put the polo just like that. Put a press on it like that, and it'll kind of pop open just like that. And if I want, if I long press on it, it'll pop open into that app just like that. You know what I mean? So that's what 3D Touch is, guys. Pretty cool. And that's my first app. My second app is Facebook. So I could take a photo or video. Let's come a little closer. I could take a photo or video upload the video or just write a post quick just like that it'll pop me right in there and I could just do whatever and post it so that's real cool take a photo boom right there you do all the filters all that stuff and I could do that right from the app real quick I don't have to go in there and then tap something else I could just like that upload a video and so yeah it's pretty cool and my third one is Twitter Twitter is the same thing I could come compose a new message just like that new tweet I mean. or I could search I could search for whatever so yeah, there you go, guys. So that's my third one, and my fourth one is Dropbox. So this is Dropbox right here. I could go in there, could look at all my pictures, cause I have in Dropbox. I save all of my kids' photos from like years when they were baby. I save all that important photos in Dropbox, so I could ex access it at any time. And I mean, keep up some good memories. So I could do like this. I could search. I could upload a photo. Go to my offline. I could go to upload right now and it'll give me my option to go right there into my joints and my pictures and I could just upload from right there so that's real cool photo you go right there and you can see all your photos you got in your in your thing and then my fifth one is camera plus I actually love camera plus so I could long press on it I could view light box Take a macro, take a selfie, take a photo. Just like that. I mean, so. Take a selfie. I mean. Take a macro shot. Nice and close. Boom. All right. So there you go guys. The five my five top apps that supports 3D touch. We got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Dropbox, and Camera Plus. So there you go. Most of the Apple apps, stock apps already support this. I mean so the music, the whole camera, the weather. No, the weather doesn't. The weather is one that doesn't. I think weather and the calculator doesn't support 3D touch. 
but the photos just like that the app store calendar I mean all that stuff support and another cool thing with 3d touches you could actually take live photo this is where live photos come in so I'm gonna try to find a live photo for you guys so I got this photo right here if I press on it you can see it start moving and this actually plays sound too turn this off where is it at I mean, and the good thing is like the quality of the photo is still a nice quality photo. It looks real good, and then when you press on it, it plays. That's called live photo. All I have to do with 3D touch the new the new display technology in the iPhone 6s. So there you go, guys. It's Prince with ATP 101. Thanks for watching. Peace.